Now, in its bid to tackle school violence, the government will launch a Milat Asset program this academic year for expelled students. The program will entail a three-month assessment of the expelled students before a decision is made on their future. This was revealed by Minister of Youth Development and National Service, Foster Cummings, when he sat down with Ryan Bechu in this week's big interview. Are we facing a crisis when it comes to the nation's youth? A candid conversation on youth with the Minister of Youth Development and National Service, Foster Cummings. The statistics are alarming. Between 2015 and 2019, 62% of the 510 people charged with murder were between the ages of 15 and 29. 96% of them were male. As an answer to the violence perpetrated by youth, Commissioner of Police Earlier here with Christopher warned parents they will be held accountable for their children's actions. I'm going to ask you directly, would you support it? It, it, is a, it, is de it depends on the circumstances, right? And if there is neglect, then neglect has to be treated with a particular way. And that will depend on the legislation and the existing laws and anything that is done within the existing laws, of course I will support. With school violence also dominating the headlines of the last academic year, Cummings promised a My Part Asset program that will deal with expelled students. All of the persons, the young the, the students who have been expelled from secondary school for one reason or the other, most of it being deviant behavior, will come into that program. They will go through a period of assessment for about three months or so. And then we direct them into either the technical vocational aspect, which is the My Part, or the academic stream, which is the MILAT. He said the oncoming program will provide a more disciplined pathway for expelled students. As the MP for Lohokita Talparo sat down with us for a one-on-one -on -one interview, talk of the succession of the PNM gripped the nation. Tonight, on The Big Interview, he speaks directly to the question of his political ambitions. Do you see yourself one day as serving, uh, or hoping to serve in the capacity as a leader of this country? Hmm.